this and so forth, yes, we can do that right. as well. Okay, I'm just going to right. make some assessments uh, using kinesiology and dowsing and see what we come up with that way. All right. All right? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. I don't even know what they are. Kinesiology. Well, kinesiology is muscle testing. <laughs> right, okay. Right, so that's gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all right. Kinesiology is muscle testing. And um, if this um, birdie has, um, if the answer to my question is yes, my fingers stay strong. If my answer to the question is no, my fingers weaken. Or I'll show you with a, with a, with a pendulum. Right. Um, and I've done a course in scientific dowsing, so mm. um, there is a science to dowsing if you understand it. But there is not many, not many vets would have no. um, <laughs> would even believe it's possible. Let yeah. alone believe that there's any accuracy in it. Mm. But I know that there are people who um, sex chicken eggs um, as a job in Japan um, on a road, just on a on a. You know, coming coming past them, and they can determine um, the um, sex of chicken eggs with about a um, about a 99.7 percent accuracy, what? just using a pendulum. Um, so That's they cool. sort out the the females are kept for layers, and the and the uh, and the uh, the males are kept for scrambled egg or for sale mm -hmm. to the, the population. What? Right, That's great. That's <laughs> eggs. Right. So uh, anyway, my pendulum, my crystal has broken off, so we're going to use a, a, uh, a washer. All right. So the first thing I need to do is just bring myself into presence and um, yeah, we'll just stop the thing there and then I'll, I'll do another. I'll do another. When you're ready? Yep. Probably. I'm just going to do a little bit of dowsing and, and see what happens. So I'm going to ask First of all, I ask myself to be present and connected with all-knowing consciousness, God consciousness, whatever you like to call it. So my next thing is I want to, I want the answer, the pendulum to show me what the yes answer is. So the yes answer is swinging back and forth that way. I now ask the pendulum to show me what my no answer is today. Show me no. 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 That's quietly. That's quietly. Show me yes. I did this yesterday, it worked like a charm. Mm. Show me, show me no. Yeah, now we're starting to talk. Show me no. Thank you. Thank you. Show me yes. Show me yes. Thank you. So we've now got, we're now communicating, the pendulum communicating back and forth that way as a yes and a crosswise as a, a no. Okay. Is this raven infected with circovirus? Is this raven infected with aspidolosis? Is my name Richard? Is this raven affected, infected with aspergillosis, aspergillus fungus? Is this raven infected with aspergillus fungus?
are the feather changes in this raven associated with circovirus infection? Is my name Cedric? Are the feather changes in this raven that I'm holding partly associated with circovirus infection? I'm going to say that is telling me that we've got yes to circovirus, we've got yes to aspergillus, right? Okay. Now, um, all right. Um, if you want to and keep filming, mm -hmm. right? Okay. okay. We'll just talk about these two things, right? Okay. So the yeah. next. Next thing, going, that's just a, a quick assessment, right? Sure, yeah. um, and that's on the perimeter of science and spirituality <laughs> or whatever. And um, if I only relied on that, I'd probably, my colleagues would probably want to deregister me <laughs> <laughs> and say that I've lost the plot. However, <laughs> I don't think I've lost the plot. No, I don't think um, so either. Um, we can also use a quantum instrument to evaluate the birdie for vibrations of that are characteristic for circovirus and right. we can evaluate your the birdies for the presence of vibrations that are characteristic for those of aspergillus every in in our world in our physical world in the, and in the related world of the aura and energy ah. Every, everything that we can think of has its own particular quantum vibrational frequency. Mm -hmm. So every cell, every atom, every chemical, every hormone, every virus, every fungus, every bacteria, every organ part, every individual being, mm. every plant, um, um, every substance has its own particular quantum vibrational pattern. And it is possible to um, get a recording of that and store it in water uh -huh. uh, and it is possible to then analyze the vibrational pattern that is in a vial of water for the presence of other vibrational patterns that, w that are associated or linked into that thing. So you and I okay. have both got a liver and we've both got a heart and we've both got lungs and a mm. respiratory tract and within those there are various hormones and types of cells circulating and so forth and it is possible to get a measure of those using quantum. Right. Okay. And furthermore, it's possible to work from a photograph or, yeah. a, or a feather sample yeah. or anything that identifies the individual. Okay. Right? Yeah. And it can be done from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world. So, yeah. um, so it's not in the realms of a diagnostic test because it's not in the realms of science. Okay, sure. Right? Yeah, sure. So yeah. I'm not saying this is a diagnostic test, it's just a means of evaluating and it sometimes helps me make decisions. Yeah. Um, and I've done quite a lot of study in that, that area and I have an instrument but I don't have anyone operating it reliably at the moment. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, I would get this birdie assessed remotely if we wanted to pursue down that way. If you want the bird to the, the, the sort of standard ways of testing it currently, the currently the standard ways of testing it uh, for beak and feather um, disease or for circovirus disease mm -hmm. would be to take um, some blood quills and some blood and send them off to um, Dr. Shane Raydell at um, James Sturt University. Right. I think that's where he is at the present.